for joining us. After a four day manhunt across the low country, a fugitive wanted on multiple charges in multiple states is now in custody. Hundreds of law enforcement agents from the local to the federal level spent hours on end looking for the man wanted out of New York State. Michael Burham was escorted out of the Francis Marion Forest in Hugie just after 515 yesterday evening. Our Molly McBride tells us how that surge came to an end. Sheriff Dwayne Lewis says they received a 911 call from a home near United Drive about a suspicious person near their shed. That's when multiple agencies arrived on scene. Lewis says Berm was first spotted by a canine tracking team and taken into custody in the woods behind the home. He says Berm was, quote, not in good shape, and they gave him water while he was checked and eventually cleared by EMS. From there, Berm was taken to be questioned by the FBI. Lewis says he's thankful to the public for calling in tips, which is what eventually led to Berm's arrest. The bulletins that we put out, go check your property, you know, any outbuilding sheds, campers, and that kind of thing. I think Sheriff Graziano put that out, uh, and that's exactly what he did. And I think the joke between him and his wife were, there's nothing out here. Lewis says the hundreds of deputies, officers, and agents from the low country, state, and federal level have put in hundreds of hours into the search. He says the Hugie community can rest easy now that Burham is behind bars. Unbelievable resources. We used everything we had, um, all available manpower without uh, letting the county go unprotected. Officials with the FBI say that Burham will now be taken to New York to face his charges. Reporting in Berkeley County, Molly McBride, Live 5 News.